In this morning's Health Watch, blue dye and spinal cord injuries. There are more than 12,000 such injuries each year, and research from the University of Rochester suggests the blue dye, such as the stuff that's used in M&Ms, may could help uh, perhaps prevent paralysis. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with details. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. This is a real study. This is a real place. This isn't the phony baloney grocery Absolutely. store. Absolutely. University of Rochester, right. reputable study, great researchers. What did they find? This is actually a follow-up study to work they did, Harry, five years ago on spinal cord injuries. And they found, by chance, which is the way most uh, a lot of uh, discoveries in medicine occur, mm -hmm. that the same blue dye that occurs in, in that is used in things like Gatorade and M&Ms mm -hmm. actually can help reduce the injuries around a spinal cord injury. And we just saw there the injury. Then after the treatment, there was less white. That, that corresponds to less zone of injury. And it's mm -hmm. the secondary injury after spinal cord mm -hmm. injuries. That with the causes swelling. The Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That really causes the problem. Is this similar to, uh, uh, sometimes they treat spinal cord injuries with cold now, sort of in a very immediate way. Is, is it the same effect? It's not, actually. And we have a graphic to mm. explain how this works. And it's, it's a little complicated, but basically three main actions. Whenever there's an injury in the spinal cord, you have a molecule known as ATP, mm -hmm. which is everywhere, gets released in very high amounts, binds to that receptor, and then triggers a cascade of cell death, which then leads to swelling. Mm. And you can think of these molecules like a key fitting into a lock. The blue molecule is what they found to be contained in this dye, hmm. blocks that receptor cascade, hmm. Hmm. so you don't get the cell death, this is a you different don't thing get the altogether swelling. Then. Totally different than the cold or thermal protection right. that, that was How used How do the they past. proceed then? Because there are these side effects. We saw the picture of the brat turning, you know, with the blue paws and everything That's else. right. How do they proceed to sort of find out how this works? And there works? it is. It's a little cute. It's ears and paws and eyes temporarily get blue after mm -hmm. this, but it does go away. The key thing in, 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 that the researchers found with this is that they gave it intravenously, whereas in the past they had to inject this substance right into the spinal cord, which is obviously not something you want to do in mm -hmm, a spinal cord mm -hmm. injury. So again, more work is going to be occurring with this. This has to be given within hours of the injury, mm. but it holds a lot of promise for the people who suffer from spinal cord injuries. It's not just the one injury that matters, it's, it's the, the secondary, secondary injury right. that yeah. really gets people. So interesting. Mm. Dr. Yeah. Jennifer Astern, thank you so much. You bet, Harry.